Hey guys, I want to share with you a piece of some ancient yet pretty cool tech from the late 1990s. I present to you Toshiba Libretto 100 CT. Do you know why this mini laptop was worth $4,700? Let's find out! This was the tech toy to have for the C-suite and upper management. It wasn't exactly a powerhouse, but just uh, look at it. This sub notebook is on par with today's mini laptop like Chewy and GPD Pocket, but uh, only size-wise, of course. Do you guys want to see how far the technology has come and what was available 25 years ago? Alright, this rare little mini PC features an Intel Pentium MMX 166MHz CPU with 32MB of RAM. You haven't misheard, it's megabytes, not gigabytes. And uh, this particular model has a 6GB hard drive and a stunning 7.1 inch TFT display that supports a maximum of 800 by 480 pixel resolution. Of course, there are no M.2 or SATA drives here. The hard drive in this machine has an ID interface with about 5 megabytes per second read and write speeds. Pretty slow, even by the late 90s standards. This is my personal laptop that I've owned all these years, and despite its age, everything appears to be in fully working condition. Okay, let's boot this puppy up. And there it is. If you're enjoying watching this video, please consider subscribing. I want you to watch more of my videos. Where do we start seeing the biggest difference compared to the modern mini laptops besides just the hardware? The first thing that jumps out at me is the keyboard. Looks uh, cool, but uh, kind of has very poor ergonomics. As you can see, there's a lot of wasted space right below here. I guess they thought that having a palm rest was more important. This little wonder has a docking station and a PCMCIA modem slash networking card, so you can actually connect Libretto to the internet. The modem speed is up to 56 kilobits per second, or about 7 kilobytes. In even simpler terms, it would take you 10 days to download an average length HD movie. Yep. The docking station allows you to connect a printer, an external monitor, as well as a PS2 keyboard and a mouse. Sorry. No USB ports here. You can, however, connect a floppy drive with a PCMCIA card. The price of this PC was uh, $2,500, but given it was over 25 years ago, it's an equivalent to $4,700 now. Pricey. You can get a pretty much top-of-the-line gaming laptop for that much money nowadays. I do like the solution they came up with to replace the mouse, uh, but it eats into the real estate that could have been a screen. Uh, this little joystick controls the cursor and you have uh, two buttons right here uh, on the lid for the left and uh, right click. But none of these replace a mouse for me. So, I have a few games here as well, and it runs Doom. Guys, if you're thinking about getting a Toshiba Libretto 100 CT and tinkering with it, I would discourage it. It's very hard to get any peripherals or software, and it's pretty slow. If you want to overclock it, you have to take out the motherboard and solder stuff. The plastic shell is also very brittle after 25 years, so it's more of an antique and uh, conversation piece at this point. Honestly, I'm still struggling with the purpose of this little machine. Why? But maybe I need to look at it with a 90s lens. There weren't that many power-hungry applications. If you had an external monitor and a keyboard, I think you could do email and uh, run MS Office easily. While the price was high, I think it was still in line with how much PCs cost at the time. And hey, it can run Doom! Well, have we come far along? I'm pretty sure that we have. 